And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. C and Jewel, just Jewel. Your new knives download is here with the latest carries from Boker. We Savivi, Sencut, Kubi, Kershaw, Boker, Bradford. <laughs> Boker twice. There's only one Boker, sorry. So let's lay up the board with the Savivi Voltaire. Four options: black, tan, green Macarta, and Gubrisha wood. Wow, that yeah. sounds. So we have that last one with the Damascus nice steel. Good. All right. This knife is 9, wow, 0.12 inch when fully opened and sports a 3.98 inch Damascus Tanto style blade with flat grind. 0.12 thickness jimping and comes to about 58 to 60 mm -hmm. on the HRC scale. Blade operates on cage ceramic ball bearings and is opened with a dual sided thumb stud. There you go. Or the jimped back flipper tab. So handle scales are that wood we mentioned, but <laughs> do come in green micarta, black G10, and tan G10. Of course, those other options feature 14C 28M blades instead of the Damascus, and have either a stone wash or black finish. So this liner lock features a tip-up reversible pocket clip, and comes with pouch cleaning cloth and stickers. Wow. Get starting at only $63.75 from Langknife.com. All right, you go first. I love it. It's great. It's awesome. How about that? It it's really radical. is. It's a very interesting design. I mean, you know, I've never really seen a design quite like this on a low-end folding knife, I'll have to say. The Damascus part, I can live with it, with or without. I like the Damascus sometimes. Sometimes I don't. This is a lot of wood. Uh, but it's very thin. Very thin. And somewhat light for this size. So, you know... I might have to look at some of the other ones that they have since this, I've only seen this one and maybe give me one of those. Hmm. Well, I think it's a hunk of a blade for the price. I mean, I really like this wide Tonto style they have and the beveling. Really nice. Handle could use a little more contouring, but I can let it go because, come on, 9.12 inches. Mm. Yeah, and the blade's got a flipper tab and <clears throat> jumping. Not to mention Civivi has gone too far with this amazing design. I mean, I don't mind it. It's, well, you you might might care because the other options are 14 c 20 n but I don't mind that. I like the 14 c 20 n that CD does. And you can always go with the Damascus option if you're not crazy about the 14C. Yep. A plus Civivi. This and your Quibit are at the top of my list for this year. Not to mention that Civivi will be releasing new models of the Elementum with Warren Cliff style blades, which will probably feature next week or the week after. And there's even going to be a pink Quibit. Is it really? Pink Quibit, which wow. I may or may not be getting. I cannot confirm. Or it's only $7 an inch. Can't beat that. Yeah. All right. So with that, it's on to the Bradford Guardian 3. So we've done this before. Yep. But we had to show you the new option. Uh, comes in three different scale versions, carbon fiber, black G10, and G wood. We have the black G10 one. Bam! Blue. Just bam. Yeah, look at that. It's stellar, I know. Mm. Blue all through. Look at that. So we're just going to give you the specs real quick. So it's 6.75 inches overall, and it has a textured black G10 scales. Over top, the full extended tang. That's blue PVD coated. Steel is AEBL. Drop point blade is 3.25 inches with jimping. Finally, it's got a lanyard hole. And on this one, it's got a black leather belt sheath for waistband or horizontal carry. Wow, kind of you cannot thing. beat that. Yeah. Wow, that's a bargain. Made in the USA. This new Bradford Beauty is only, I don't know the exact price. I think it's around 118, 120. 118. But we will check it and pop it on the screen. From alayknife.com. There it is. Yeah. So this is probably my favorite Bradford so far. There has been a lot over the years, but I'm in love with this blue PVD coating, okay? The fact that it's USA made only makes it better. Little small because it's 6.5, but, you know, it does have the curved handle, so it gives you a little more. I think I'm going to give them an A on this one. Give them an A. Are you really going to yeah. give them an A? Yeah, and they did this black sheath instead of the brown one they always do. I like that. It's a little different. 
However, that could be just a fluke. They could change it. You really don't know. But I like it. All right. Mm. We I have... I it's a little bit longer, but that's okay. Go ahead. What? What? Look at this a little bit longer. Okay, well, this is a three. I so I guess I you need to go with a, the four. I like this, The four yeah. is a little longer. Mm -hmm. They might do the Three four. and a half is pretty good, too. The four and the, uh, the blue. That would be nice. They have lots of nice knives. So. Yeah, that's true. Right. Okay. Is there anything else you want to... Nope, that's it. Okay. Go on. So we're moving on to the Wee Zonda now. Mm -hmm. Wee Zonda. Four high-end options to choose from. We have the two-tone blade one here to show yeah. you guys. This frame lock has a 4.05 inch CPM 20 CV clip point blade with jimping flat grind satin and black stone wash. Yep. Impressive. I know. Comes to about 58 to 60 on the HRC scale. Blade, sorry, I was distracted. With it. Yeah, I my, my fingerprints were on that. Blade is, yeah, I should be wearing gloves. I should be wearing gloves. 0 0.13 inches thick and can be opened with the jimped back flipper stud wow that's a that's a nice snap handle on this option is black 6al4v titanium with the twill carbon fiber and flame titanium inlays flamed titanium inlays yeah it's got twill and around the outside backspacer screws gold pivot cap tip up right carry pocket clip mm -hmm. all are 6al4v titanium designed by kellen bogardis is that correct mm, sure. i don't know if that's him or her i don't know them this knife is one you're not going to regret adding to your collection. Yep, you can find the Wii Zonda starting at only $399.50 from Langknife.com. All right, you go first. All right. 20 CV CPM. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. I'm not a big two-tone blade guy. I know. On the high end. One day, maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna change my thoughts on that. No. <laughs> Probably not. But now I like the rounded spine. Yeah. Fits your finger nicely. But at this price, I don't think I would be whipping this thing out to to use it very often. I mean, it's four bills, so that's a lot. Now, the design, the backspacer is. Nice. You know, they come up with very novel ways to add design that really haven't been done before. I've never seen a backspacer in that shape, ever. Or with, like, the Timascus type of look on it. Yeah, I mean, they've done it a couple times. Um... It's like them and Cancep do things like that, but just the way it's designed. I mean, the little uh, gold uh, screw. Screw. I mean, there's so many little different things that give it a new look. I'd have to say it's a. Yeah. That's. I mean, what can you complain about? I'm definitely. You know what? I've never quite seen a screw like. I mean, say, Come on, we is getting creative with the carbon fiber and the the titanium. I mean, it's like a vein of lightning Ooh. running down through the knife. It's it's gorgeous work. Interesting design to say the least. Not a limited edition. I feel like they could have made it a limited edition. But it still won't be around for long. I mean, I'm not fond of the two-tone blade thing either on the high-end knives. But they do have three other options mm -hmm. that have, like, solid finish blades. So yeah. if you're not a big fan of the two-tone, they have they even have the... You'll find one you like. Yeah, there's a gray one with, like, a silver bead blasted, and it still has the, the veining through. So and there's a copper foil one and, like, a marble carbon fiber one. So... There's tons of options. Any one would be a red knife to have. I like it. All right. She likes it. Yeah, I like it. All right. Like a Mikey. Great. Yeah. All right. Come on, that's from your generation. Mikey? Yeah, Mikey likes it. You mean the it. Life cereal? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, I think well, you, so too. you made it seem like you, you had no idea what I was talking about, so. Okay, no. go ahead, move on to the more next Are next you knife. ready to go? Yes. Is it more budget friendly? Yes. All right, great. It's the Kershaw line. Sold a lot of these last week. Yeah. Um, we didn't have a spot to feature it last week, so we'll throw it in there now. It's the, uh, the Kershaw line comes in one option. Right now. You never know the Kershaw. They might come up with a blackout one or something later. So, 7.25 <clears throat> inches when the 3.15 inch 8CR 13OV blade is deployed. Clip point blade has a satin finish, minor chimping, high hollow grind, and 0 0.11 inch thickness. So you deploy the assisted opening blade with the back jimped flipper tab. And you can disengage it with the frame lock, like so. Lastly, this EDC has a gray PVD coated stainless steel handle, black back spacer, lanyard hole, tip up pocket clip. Wow. Yeah, I know, reversible. Get all your ducks in a row with the Kershaw line for only $32.95 from landlife.com. Free shipping always. Yep, so nice design from them. 
I really like their satin finish. It's really nice. It opens really well. <sighs> Kershaw, Kershaw, Kershaw. Mm -hmm, we are mm -hmm. back to the 8CR13. I don't know why we can't stick with the <laughs> D2. This is anywhere near the best steel here, K Kershaw. Okay, you need to be up. Your level's at it is the a base. 10, but bring it down to like a 2. This is the D2. Better steel's down here. You're well, they're here. still beating the 5CR and the 7CR and the 3CR and... You know. Don't help them out. Jeez. Get some pom-poms. <laughs> so, come on. And the stainless steel handle, you could have went aluminum or something. Just a little... I might have pom-poms, but we got you some buckets. Okay, that's All great. Right. <laughs> I'm just not crazy about it. But, you know, it's a it's a nice knife. It's Kershaw. Give it its great. C+. Plus. There you go. Wow. Really? Yes. Oh, it's light. slightly above average Kershaw. Okay, well, here's like what Yogi. I was thinking. Like Yogi Bear. Go ahead. I was thinking that if somebody were to steal this design, put a nice titanium handle on it and an M390 blade, this would be a bang up yes, of a would. knife, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Um, but I will say this. For a nice starter knife, this is, this is good. I mean, it's same level as a, a Sin Cut. Yeah. Even though they're 10 CR most of the time. I'm not sure what they are this week. Um, 30 bucks. I mean, that's kind of where we're at now. I'm not yeah, sure it really beats the, getting they a... They did the uh, D2 last week for about the same price. I just don't understand why they want to stick with the 8CR. Well, there's not a lot of price pro difference probably in D2 and 8CR. It's not a whole lot of... Uh, exactly. So why don't you just put D2 on there? Because that little bit of money <laughs> well, matters they, to those people. They need to, they need to suck it up. Well, tell them. Tell them to suck it up. Don't believe they're... I don't think they listen to us any well, longer. Well, they should. Alrighty. So we, we the knife people. This is a knife. Go ahead. Yep. So we have many new knives still to come, especially from Suncut, We, Kubi, Boker. But like always, we need you guys to hit those <coughs> like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as ring a ding ding that bell. Ring a ding ding. That way you're always linked to AK and notified when new videos are released. We'll also be uh, automatically entered in our giveaways if you do that too. Yep. So right now we have the Can't Beat BRS giveaway. I don't do the naming. That's going they on can right tell, now, right? It's witty and clever. It's witty and clever. <laughs> Practical too. Not, yes, Enter not. now for a chance to win the BRS Navajo with an M390 steel. Brass <laughs> black box. What do you mean? Like, I'm just, I'm just going to look at this. And again. killer extras. If it had M390, man, I'd be like, man, that's nice. That is and nice. a brass backspacer? What? Okay. <laughs> you can also double your chances by becoming an official AK member via the link down below in the description. Trust us, you won't be sorry. Mm -hmm. So finally, AtlanticKnife.com has also got those daily deals we are always talking about. Right now, the biggest one is probably the Civivi Mini Asticus. Yeah, and the Backlash and is the another backlash, one. Yeah. That one's really catching Free on. Free shipping, and I can't remember what. It was really low. Uh, $30, something like something that. Something like that, yeah. A ridiculous amount of money. So, you know how it is. You uh, know how. It's great value for the price, by the way. <laughs> this is when I pick up all my knives. I'm basically broke this time of year. Yep. Don't forget to check out the rest of our closeout sections. I had some more this week. Hundreds of knives from Sabibi, Steel Wheel, We Send Cut, Real Steel, tons of them. And our shirts. We're selling tons yeah, of those shirts. Yeah, people really like the shirts. New designs coming out soon, too. There will be, yeah. Yeah. All right. Lowest prices you ever seen. Yep. So snag the knife you've had your eye on for a fantastic price, not to mention... Okay, I'll go ahead and mention it. Free shipping. Always mention it. Again. Every email. Shipping. Free shipping. Yeah. Free shipping. And like that, it's back to the table. Every single, single day. day. It's great. We're hitting the Sin Cut Vesperon. Yep. Four different versions to pick from. Black, Blackout, Natural Jade, and Wood. We have the Natural Jade G10 option to show you guys. So this liner lock has a 3.35 inch 9CR18 MOV drop point blade. I'm just like throwing it at my face. flat grind, 0.12 thickness, plain edge. And on this option, a sateen finish. So operating on cage ramp ball bearings, this blade glides open and comes to about 58.60 on the HRC scale. Mm -hmm. Also sports both a thumb hole and a jimped back flipper tab for blade opening. Handle scales are G10 and come in black and jade as well as the wood that, you know, Sun Cut, Sivivi, and we do, and a black micarta option. Mm -hmm. Finally, this folder has a tip-up, reversible, stainless pocket clip, pouch, cleaning cloth, and stickers. Need a Sun Cut Vesperon? Well, you're in luck. We have one. It started only $42.95. From Alandknife.com. There you go. Okay, so, I, I don't know. I'm not in love with it. It's kind of your run-of-the-mill EDC. It's fine. It'll cut. It's 
it's good decent carry it just doesn't wow me like like some of the others have been doing mm -hmm. i think i just have a high end taste. that's what it is your taste starts to develop it's like wine cigars art mm, yeah you start off with art, like a maybe. with a 200 count lithograph and end up with the 800 dollar plate <laughs> Charger, excuse me, you can't even call it a plate. Yeah, that would Pretty be soon you got a set of them and they're all under your table because you have no place to put 17 inch plates. I don't even know anything about this. Hope you ain't watching. That's, you know what it's called? Going off the rails. That's You're what it's called. Okay. On a crazy train. The Vesperon, which reminds me of the Vespa, set me up. which it is not. Um, I don't know. I mean, I kind of like the design of it. I mean, they have such good designs in everything they do. They really never disappoint me on them. That's true. Um, it's not a disappointing design. I kind of think it's the fine. Jade has left the building. Left I'm sorry. Building. Yeah, kind of CJRB did that about what three or four years ago, and that was really a hot thing. And yeah. from that point on, it went down. Nine CR, you know, I don't care. It's it's sharp. It's kind of like a uh, uh, what's the company? Spiderco. Tenacious. You can give me all the 8 CR13 they got. It cuts, it's sharp, and it stays sharp. So this I don't was really. Nine. Yeah, 9's a little bit better. A little. Yeah. A little. A little. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're on to the Kubi Creon. Creon. Yeah, so there's 10 different models to choose from on this. We are only carrying six right now because the only six are in stock. So we're featuring the black and red Damascus option. Mm. Yeah, I know. So this folder is 6.77 inches when open and has a 2.87 Damascus steel blade with jimping, 0.12 inch thickness, plain edge, and etched patterns. So the blade comes to about 58cc on the HRC scale and can be opened with either the, that's, that's great, it's good, we, we've missed that, be opened with the jimped back flipper tab or the button lock. Wait till, she wait till she reviews the video. <laughs> She'll see we haven't editor. missed it three times. That's great. Operating on ceramic ball bearings. This, this one was button, just more in my face. Yeah. This button lock is easy to open and close with just one hand. Show us. Oh, you want me to show you? Okay, there it is. Oh, I know. I find it a little harder to flip because it's a little shorter blade than I'm used to with that. But after a little practice, yeah. It's kind of easy. Handle is Damascus G10, but there are other color op color options. The other more standard models have OS 10, which I like also. Mm -hmm. uh, come in a variety of finishes. Finally, this knife has a tip-up reversible pocket clip, cleaning cloth, and starts at just $56 from AtlanticKnife.com. Nice. Okay, I'm going to let you okay. go first. You know, I realized huh. I pretty much like all knives. That's the problem. Is it? Yes. My problem is I have too many likes. I span not just knives. If we could never use the people like, do you use these? No! Not all of How them. How in the world? You know it would I, take me forever. Oh my gosh. I have to carry a different Plus, knife Plus, then I have to keep every, every single... Wait a minute. I'm starting to like this idea. I keep every um, single one. We, yeah, we give people knives and sell knives. Well, the button lock craze continues, I will say it, that. It does. I'm not much on this design. I'm going to make a shirt that says, Year of the Button Lock. You know what? And have it look like one of those Scorpios. We should do that for every single year, whatever the new thing is. Exactly. Like the Penguin brought in Year of the D2. Yeah, it's a good idea. I know. Only Sometimes nice I people would wear those shirts. That's yeah. true. I had to ask you if you got that from. Shirt. Um, but, I mean, it's a nice knife. I give it that. It's a little undersized for me. Um, other than that, the Damascus is a little bit different than I, I've is. seen before. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if it's like a single type of steel folded or multiple i don't know or if it's, it's like nice. just a regular damascus and then they put the patterns on it i don't i don't it's know kind of getting a little too mirrory for me because uh, i have to just yeah yeah clean it, it, all looked, it looked okay for me. i mean and i really like the way the handle is contoured on this and i like the cut of the blade mm -hmm. i will have to look about the the damascus thing i kind of want to know now i also feel like that when you have the flipper tab mm -hmm. on this one at least i don't really want to use the button lock to flip it open i like the tab better you're right. I kind of want to just flip it open, too. I mean, how many and times it, we've said, we could have put a tab on the back with that. Now I'm thinking, eh. You need the button lock. Well, I like the button lock to close it. Yeah, I mean, that's the intended purpose yeah. originally. but exactly. Gotcha. I don't know. I think, and I think it's better than some of the other Kubis I've seen. The button works really well. Flipper tab is really nice. And it's different. It's like a high, more high-end carry for a not-so-high-end mm. price from Kubi. That's what I feel like it I will is. give you that, yep. All right. All right, go ahead. Ready? Speaking of high-end, we've got the limited edition Wii 
What'd you call that? Uh, what? What did you? Oh, you want me to butcher it? Was it okay. Nexusia? Nexusia. Nexusia. I was thinking yeah. Asia. Nexusia. Right. I didn't look. I don't know. I don't think my we'll just, pronunciation. Just, we'll, we'll just though. shorten it to Weenix. So this knife has five. Ooh, I like that. Different versions, each with their own limited edition values. Yep. The bronze blackout model we have is limited to 155. The gray with the blue cutouts is limited to 155. The tiger stripe anodized one is 150. Yep. I guess the five got lost. Yep. The full gray is 155. And finally, the damage steel option is limited to a hundred. And hopefully it's like last time where 99 gets sold and the last one never does. Just and flips around. It just makes it over to... Just disappears. Yeah, to my hiding. I mean, my, my, my display Wait, area. You are going to get like... <laughs> C was found three years I after end up with for the having embezzled one, almost one million time. dollars in high-end knives. That's what it's gonna happen. It's probably like five hundred thousand. Oh, five hundred thousand. <laughs> well, I was I was thinking maybe you took more than one a couple of times. No, so. I got paid. Uh -huh. Okay, so this limited edition frame lock has a three point four eight inch CPM twenty CV blade that operates on caged ceramic ball bearings when opened, with the jimped back flipper tab. Oh, wow. I know. So the drop point blade features a plain edge, compound grind with hollow primary bevel and flat ground tip. Jimping and 0 0.13 inch thickness. Comes about 59 to 61 on the HRC while the finishes vary. Uh -huh. Lastly, the handle tip a pocket clip, pivot cap, and screws are all 6AL4V titanium. We would expect nothing, nothing less. less. Exactly. You can have this amazing limited edition piece starting at only 274 from AtlanticKnife.com while supplies last. And I they think won't some last of them long. are even sold out already. So this they're serialized too. So this one's 82. So whoever gets 82, lucky you. Okay. So I have to say these puppies are going really fast. You see it on the website. You need to snatch it up then because it won't be there later. I was going to go first, but I think I'm going to let C tell you guys what he thinks of this latest limited edition. Go ahead. All right. You go first. So I played with this one earlier. I really like this design. It reminds me. the box. <laughs> you better not steal. You better not steal what we oh, discussed wow. earlier, what I thought um, it looked like. I like how the, my finger, it's hard to see. You showed it over there. The cutout <laughs> section, it fits your finger nicely in a wraparound area. And it's got a usable choil with. I'll just make you nice a finger that says, access I need to use right here. I still have a little room left. Wow. Yeah, mother-in-law mother -in -law will be hanging off. Yeah. That's exactly what I was, yeah. But the jimping's in the right place. I mean, it's almost like they make one, hold it in their hand, say, well, C's hand's about this big. They put it in there and go, okay, throw that one away. Let's move this up a little bit and this down a little bit and put this over here. Okay. Perfect. That'll work fine. Yeah, I mean, it works See, both we got ways. Your knife. I, I mean, wow. This is a nice knife. I really have to stop with these. Um, we have problems. It's a good design, too. And I'm a big frame lock guy. I feel like I should be holding my pockets out and butterflies or moths are flying out. I liked of it them. better when I didn't have any knives. <laughs> Did you? Yes. Did you? Yeah, the year was 1980. <laughs> wow, you got 19 what? I can't remember. Uh huh, he can't remember. Okay, well, I really like this knife. I love the design. I always have. Now, notice I said, I always have because I have seen this look before. I feel like it's an enlarged version of Todd Begg's glimpse, mini glimpse, big glimpse, whatever glimpse there is. Yes, I'll tell yeah, so this wide area of the blade, the faux fuller, the holes. I mean, we've seen the holes on a number of Todd's designs. I mean, I'm not saying Todd, you know, owns or has a moratorium on cutouts. But it's just the combination, you know, the blade style. I bet you it feels like it is. <laughs> I bet he probably does. The cutouts, I mean, I just, it says glimpse to me. Now, that isn't to say that means I don't like it. I love this knife, okay? I love the style. I like the finish, especially the hand-polished satin one that they got. They do a really nice mm -hmm. hand-polished satin, okay? It opens like a dream. I actually think the blackout bronze and probably the tiger-striped ones are my favorite. And I love... This little anodized pivot cap cover, guys. It's titanium. It's the little extra nice touches, and they did it on both sides. Mm -hmm. No skimping. Just It just boosts the quality and the time that went into it in my eyes. Everything was done nice. Exactly. Anyone, any one of these would make an excellent addition. 
to your collection. So you should grab one while they last. Mm -hmm. I keep saying while they last because they will We already know last. what happens. We already know. They'll all sell out and there'll be some damage deal ones. Just one or two. And then you'll have to go to like alone. <laughs> Brings us to the final knife. The Boker. Mortgage my house. <laughs> can, I, can I get this? You wouldn't tell them that. You tell them you go put in a pool or something. Oh, I'm going to put in a pool. Yeah, and then some overruns, 20%, and pick up five or six weeks. There you go. Boker Macri. You've done this before, there haven't you, you? Just one option. This full tang fixed blade. Oh, you, is... can't, you can't start talking because I wanted to show them it oh. was presented like this. Whip it out. Okay, so it's got these. Oh, that's cute. I'm not going to say what I think of that box there. I don't know what I'm going to say about that box. Spend more time on the knife. There we go. Oh, wow. You can put it in a plastic bag. I don't care. Okay, Boker Macri. Here we go. Yeah. One option. Full tang. Fixed blade is 6.26 overall. Very standard on their small knives. Mm -hmm. Sports a 2.8 inch D2. Okay. Kukri style blade. It's plain like edge. D2. Black grind. Modified drop point tip. Yep. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, good. And black stone wash finish. Handle is black G10 with red liners. I like that part. Very tops esque. It is Has a lanyard top hole. Top Finally, it's tactical, but practical. Somebody had to stick it in there. Outdoor use comes from the mind of Kornokis. From Hungary. One of my favorite countries. Is it? Yes. They have freedom there. <laughs> Includes a tight fitting black Kydex sheath and common sense with belt adapter. <laughs> Can't keep saying these things while I'm trying to show them the knife. And you gotta get a flashback to me laughing. Okay. Wow. So you can get the Boker plus Macri for only eighty-three twenty-six from Atlanta. You're gonna get us YouTube censored. That's what you're gonna get us. They're gonna be like, oh cut. I'd be like, why? I'd be like I could always go see. and grab a plunger and tell YouTube what they could do with it. That's great. That's great. Okay, so I'll go first probably safer. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting fixed blade. I mean, it is Boker. After all, they do some interesting fixed blades. It's all right. I mean, I think the style of the blade is useful, but the bent angle kind of leads me to believe it's more of like a self-defense tool, especially with this. I know it's not quite big enough for a karambit mm. ring, but I just feel like that's what it is. More like a self-defense tool than an outdoor use knife, I feel like. I don't know. That's just me. And D2 for 83. <clears throat> I know I was just complaining that this one's not D2. Not exactly their fault. I we know. have VAT tax for people in Germany, so they but, have to pay. But I don't think Boker. Money. I don't think Boker is made in Germany anymore. I think. Oh, I don't know where this one's made. This is a plus, isn't yeah. that made in uh... China? I think. Oh, is it? I think so. If they ship it here directly, they don't have to pay it. So okay, that's great. I don't know. It's, well, it's okay. I think if it was bigger. Well, they did that uh, about one. four months ago with the two uh, little tracker ones they kind of borrowed uh, <laughs> that look similar to um, other styles. Yeah, I know. That's why I like that I haven't that seen knife. those in a while. <clears throat> I haven't either. I don't think they're in stock right now. Probably not. The Boko Track. Love that knife. That's they need to do something just like that with this and just keep the curvy blade and the, well, this is nice the red liners. Uh, I like that. Like, you know that Elk Ridge we sell a lot of, the 111, been selling it for 10 years. It's just a little 5-inch knife you can put on your belt, has the leather sheath. This is that type of knife that you can just kind of take out in the woods. You can pretty much do anything you yeah, need to with it. Yeah, it does have a little adapter on it, too. Yeah. So. Now, the price point, you know, I get it's $83, but that's yeah. where Boca Plus is nowadays. Also has the... Uh, yeah. Attachment. I like that. So, you know, it's a good seems pretty fair to me. Make it's sometimes 100 percent, sometimes 300 percent. You know how it is. Go ahead. All right, you guys know what that means. It's the end of another AK Blade episode. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. That way, you're in the know with AK and get notified when new videos and announcements are released on the net. Yep, like Sandra Bullock. You also get automatically entered into giveaways. Don't forget to become an official AK member via the link down below. That way you can double your chances of winning the Can't Beat BRS giveaway. Okay. Favorite knife of the week. Alright, so this one's a tough one because there's lots on the table that I really, really like. So I have a three-way tie. I'm going to narrow it down real quick. So I like the... <laughs> you knew that was coming. I like the Weenex. I feel like Aaron Rodgers. I like the... I like the Civivi... Uh, I can't remember the name. Voltaire. Oh, because it reminds me of Voltaire. Okay. And the Bradford in blue. So I'm going to... I really like the Bradford, but... It's an older design. It's just a new color, so I'm going to... 
You want to throw another literary re reference in there? Maybe. Give him a little Dante Alighieri maybe, or something? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. So, I don't know. I really like the one that looks like the glimpse, but this... All right, not. that's it. Here's my... It's <laughs> 9.125 inches. And it's only like, what, 70 bucks? 60 oh, well, That's not the Damascus one. Yeah. Or it's 60 bucks to start. 90 for the Damascus one? <clears throat> yeah, but see, here's one of my issues with that. I like that knife a lot. I'm a very comparable person. Yeah. $60, big knife, big blade. Aren't you getting every proponent they have? The artisan proponent. Yeah. People forget about these things from three or four years ago. I remember the but, proponent. But, you know, I can get a carbon fabric for 72 or a uh, G10 one for 63 Yeah, but I like the Dirt blade on this. Zest. I like it also. I mean, I like it. And I like this one, too, because maybe if I find investment value sometimes... Uh, or I could, you know... No investment advice on this show. The limited edition, though. Yeah, I get it. You know what? I don't need I don't give investment attitude. advice. Uh, okay, well, neither do I. But I okay, feel like, right. it, personally, I have a Navajas Barbudo Obamas, and it's limited edition of mm. whatever. It's almost time for work tomorrow. You know what? You know what? <laughs> Make a choice. <sighs> okay, I'm going with the weed, just because I All want right. to. Great. She's still my choice. <laughs> Suck it. Suck it. <laughs> You're the DX. All no, right, so um, next, I'm so short. I gotta be honest with you. Cut the None of them are a super A plus to me. Some of them are A's and some of them are A pluses. I'm pulling a 90s. But I really Talk like the, the Bradford. Talk to the hand. I like the what do you call it? The Balt the Baltair Baltair like Voltaire. That's right. I forgot. Um, mm. I'm also going to go with the Wii Limited Edition. Shut up. I am. Shut up. Very glimpsy. Wow, would you like to steal anything else? Maybe you should take my uh, my my uh, you know what it is? pop culture it's references the eye and shirt. Of, of Mordor. <laughs> yeah, wow. I didn't wear my Lord of the Rings ring, but next week now I'm just gonna throw it next in. Next week face. we'll have to watch number two of The Hobbit. <sighs> this close. <laughs> this close. All right, Alice, to the moon. Here we go. Escalate quickly, if you know what I mean. Are okay. you ready? Mm-hmm. Well. That's it, like always. I'm C, and this was... Just fed up with it. <laughs> Just Jewel. And we're signing off. Favorite night for the week. Alright, so this one's a tough one because I have a three-way tie. I got this one, which I really, really like. This one, I know. He feels my, he feels my pain. Shop cat. We have shop cat, shop dog, outdoor cats, cats running around everywhere. Yeah, Atlanta knife's part knife, part cat. Okay. Yeah, well, Wendy. So I got the, okay, start the okay favorite knife. It's good, because I didn't really want to put the cat in there anyway. All right, great. All right. Are we ready? Sure. Okay. Oh, I love the cat. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Cat's nice, I'm but. I'm getting chicken. I'm sorry.